Hi, I'm Steve Gaines, Dean of the Brent School, and I'm excited to introduce you to some of our stellar faculty and the innovative research they're doing to solve environmental problems. I'm Naomi Tag. I'm an associate professor at Bren. Bren just seemed like the perfect place to me. Every institution has a, a center for the environment. But I think what makes Bren special is that we are just part of some other department and part of this institute. Bren is our home institute. So everyone there is really committed to interdisciplinary research. But at the same time, everyone there is an expert in their field. Well, the most interesting thing I'm working on now is um, understanding how a coral reef in the middle of the Pacific Ocean is recovering from disturbance. Between four and six years ago, the island of Morea and many of the islands around it, the coral reefs were destroyed by a cyclone and also by an outbreak of crown of thorn starfish. And these two natural disturbances completely destroyed the corals around each of the islands. This problem and other ones we've taken on, such as what's the effect of losing diversity or, or uh, how uh, might we be able to have a more sustainable food supply, these are very complex problems. They're not just problems of, of sort of basic science. They're, they're inherently problems that have to do with society, with economics, with, with ethics, with policy, and so on. And it takes a, a broad interdisciplinary team to be able to address these questions. In the real world, we solve environmental problems usually by putting together the right team with complementary skill sets that allow us to do something that none of the individuals could have done on their own. That's not typically the norm in academic settings, but our faculty are uniquely collaborative in this way because they see that bringing their different disciplines together can solve problems that none of them could have solved by just looking at it from the perspective they bring to the table alone. Our local waters are very much connected to the landscape and what we're trying to evaluate is how that all fits together and Brent School tries to combine many disciplines and so this particular research involves hydrology, biogeochemistry, plant ecology as well as aquatic ecology and human aspects. The approaches to solving these problems or even understanding our impacts in the environment are multidisciplinary in nature. They involve ecological science, understanding what happens to populations of organisms that live in the ocean, but they also deal with the way we manage them because many of the solutions are through changing human behavior. So our faculty share the same mission because they do innovative research to study and uh, help us understand problems better, but they're driven by having those findings actually be used to solve the problems. I'm trying to solve many environmental problems that have to do with relationships between climate and land use change and forests and water. So we've done a lot of research showing how loss of biological diversity affects the functioning of ecosystems. All of these organisms evolve with each other. When you start losing organisms from an ecosystem, the ecosystem doesn't work at all as well. And so what we're trying to do is understand why these systems are so resilient when others around the world are not. Because if we can unlock those secrets about resiliency in, in ecosystems, we might be able to manage them better. Everyone at Bren really wants to be there, and I think that's one of the things that makes it really exciting to work.